transition from using the term indoor air pollution or indoor air quality for this specific um, issue to household air pollution because the while the combustion starts indoors, it leaves the house. It leaves the house through the windows, through chimneys if there's one available, through openings, um, ends up outside. And in China and India, it's been estimated that between a quarter and a half of ambient air pollution, that is outdoor air pollution, comes from households. It originates from the combustion of solid fuels in households. Um, so we think it's a big contributor to outdoor air pollution in addition to the exposure it causes indoors. Yeah, basically another um, a related reason is that calling it indoor air pollution sort of implies that just putting it outdoors would fix it. But we now understand that just putting it outdoors doesn't fix it. It goes comes in back in the bedroom, it goes to the neighbors, it goes down the street, and it eventually becomes part of outdoor air pollution. Um, and exposure to PM in village homes can be orders of magnitude higher than in clean cities like San Francisco, New York, DC, Los Angeles. It could be even higher than concentrations in 30 cities like Beijing and Delhi. And so we're often seeing levels that are um, milligrams of air pollution per cubic meter. That's how we measure these things, a massive pollutant per volume of air. Um, whereas in a clean city, you might see levels as high as 20 or 30 micrograms per uh, cubic meter. So it's a huge range that you see in village households. Lung cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart disease and stroke in adults, and lower respiratory infection or pneumonia in children. And there's also a lot of evidence linking household air pollution with tuberculosis, low birth weight, and other pregnancy outcomes, and neurocognitive issues. And there's still research going on uh, with those specific endpoints. So uh, these um, diseases are the same ones that are associated with other forms of air pollution exposure. Outdoor air pollution finds the same diseases, and even active smoking sticking burning stuff in your mouth which produces very high exposures to air pollution also produces these these are the main diseases caused by smoking of course um at much higher risk level um, obviously a smoker is getting huge doses of pollution and therefore has a higher risk but it's the same set of diseases and in fact household air pollution is sort of in between these two other forms of pollution the outdoor air pollution levels and the active smoking levels and the risks are correspondingly in between as well. Um, but um, one way of thinking about it is that in terms of the amount of pollution produced that a typical open cook fire in a village house in India, for example, might produce three or 400 cigarettes an hour worth of smoke. That doesn't mean the woman is smoking. It's like the woman is smoking the cigarettes. It means it's like having that many cigarette smokers over for dinner, a very smoky pub kind of level but this is every you know every all of these houses two or three times a day with some very vulnerable populations um, in in the household including babies and elderly people and pregnant women and so on